This inverts and amplifies the input, multiplying the voltage by minus 3, using an op amp. When connected in a negative negative feedback configuration, the op amp attempts to keep its two inputs at the same voltage. One is at ground, so for the other one to be at ground, there must be a voltage drop across the 1K resistor equal to the input voltage. The 3K resistor has the same current across it, so the voltage drop must be three times as large, by Ohm's law, making the output equal to minus three times the input voltage. Inverting Operational Amplifier The inverting operational amplifier configuration is one of the simplest and most commonly used op-amp topologies. We saw in the last tutorial that the open loop gain, AVU, of an operational amplifier can be very high, as much as 1 million, 120 dB, or more. However, this very high gain is of no real use to us as it makes the amplifier both unstable and hard to control as the smallest of input signals. Just a few microvolts, μv, would be enough to cause the output voltage to saturate and swing towards one or the other of the voltage supply rails losing complete control of the output. As the open loop DC gain of an operational amplifier is extremely high we can therefore afford to lose some of this high gain by connecting a suitable resistor across the amplifier from the output terminal back to the inverting input terminal to both reduce and control the overall gain of the amplifier. This then produces an effect known commonly as negative feedback, and thus produces a very stable operational amplifier based system. Negative feedback is the process of feeding back a fraction of the output signal back to the input, but to make the feedback negative. We must feed it back to the negative or inverting input terminal of the op-amp using an external feedback resistor called RF. This feedback connection between the output and the inverting input terminal forces the differential input voltage towards zero. This effect produces a closed loop circuit to the amplifier resulting in the gain of the amplifier now being called its closed loop gain. Then a closed loop inverting amplifier uses negative feedback to accurately control the overall gain of the amplifier, but at a cost in the reduction of the amplifier's gain. This negative feedback results in the inverting input terminal having a different signal on it than the actual input voltage as it will be the sum of the input voltage plus the negative feedback voltage giving it the label or term of a summing point. We must therefore separate the real input signal from the inverting input by using an input resistor, REN. As we are not using the positive non-inverting input this is connected to a common ground or zero voltage terminal as shown below. But the effect of this closed loop feedback circuit results in the voltage potential at the inverting input being equal to that at the non inverting input, producing a virtual earth summing point because it will be at the same potential as the grounded reference input. In other words, the op amp becomes a differential amplifier. Inverting operational amplifier configuration In this inverting amplifier circuit, the operational amplifier is connected with feedback to produce a closed loop operation. When dealing with operational amplifiers there are two very important rules to remember about inverting amplifiers. These are, no current flows into the input terminal and that V1 always equals V2. However, in real world op amp circuits both of these rules are slightly broken. This is because the junction of the input and feedback signal, X, is at the same potential as the positive, plus, input which is at zero volts or ground then, the junction is a virtual earth. Because of this virtual earth node the input resistance of the amplifier is equal to the value of the input resistor, REN, and the closed loop gain of the inverting amplifier can be set by the ratio of the two external resistors. We said above that there are two very important rules to remember about inverting amplifiers or any operational amplifier for that matter and these are. No current flows into the input terminals. The differential input voltage is zero as V1 equals V2 equals zero, virtual earth. Then by using these two rules we can derive the equation for calculating the closed loop gain of an inverting amplifier, using first principles. Current, I, flows through the resistor network as shown. Then, the closed loop voltage gain of an inverting amplifier is given as. And this can be transposed to give out as. Linear output. The negative sign in the equation indicates an inversion of the output signal with respect to the input as it is 180O out of phase. 
This is due to the feedback being negative in value. The equation for the output voltage VOUT also shows that the circuit is linear in nature for a fixed amplifier gain as VOUT equals VEN X gain. This property can be very useful for converting a smaller sensor signal to a much larger voltage. Inverting op amp example. Find the closed loop gain of the following inverting amplifier circuit. Using the previously found formula for the gain of the circuit. We can now substitute the values of the resistors in the circuit as follows. REN equals 10K omega and RF equals 100K omega. And the gain of the circuit is calculated as RF slash REN equals 100K slash 10K equals minus 10. Therefore, the closed loop gain of the inverting amplifier circuit above is given minus 10 or 20 dB, 20 log, 10.